Hello, my name is Mark Watson. What we're going to do today is we're going to go over the Blue Driver OBD2 diagnostic tool. One of the first things you're going to want to do is order one off of Amazon. They, Amazon is their fulfillment supplier. Then once you get it from Amazon, you just simply plug it into your OBD2 port on your vehicle. And then you'll have to connect it to your telephone. You open up your Bluetooth settings and you do a search and simply it'll pop up Blue Driver and it'll ask you if you want to pair it to it and then you just pair it. Next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go get the Blue Driver application for your phone. And that can be found in either the Play Store or if you're using an iPhone, uh, they're their version of the Play Store. Hit the install button and it will download the app and it's installing right now. Next thing you know you're ready to go push the open button and we'll get started here. Okay, we're going down the road. We've got some live engine data over here to the right, and we're going to go over some of these Blue Driver features. Some of the features are you can read and clear check engine codes, read and clear enhanced engine codes, meaning your ABS, airbag, transmission, etc., repair reports, code definition, possible causes, and reported fixes, smog check, Malfunction indicator light status, that means the last time that it threw a code. Freeze frame, vehicle snapshot when a code is stored. Mode 6, advanced test results like misfire counts. And live data, of course the live data is right over here to the right. You can configure those gauges however you want. There's a number of parameters that you can actually use. But uh, now let's go through each one of these features. Okay, let's hit the Read Codes button. And then we'll read all system modules. And it's scanning the codes right now. I think once you get one of these, you're going to realize that this is a awfully nice thing to have in your vehicle. Because there's, I know, all kinds of people that... All my friends have older vehicles, and it just takes a matter of seconds to diagnose it, figure out what the problem or uh, what parts they need, and it's really it's a really simple thing. Okay, we've got no codes. Of course, I've fixed everything, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, do a sample clear codes. But uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put. Uh, some saved reports over here on the right hand of the screen as soon as we get off the freeway here. And we'll go through that as they're coming up. But right now it's uh, clearing all the codes. And this is a good feature because, you know, if your car throws a code, maybe something totally different. You, what you do is you reset it. And then... Uh, if it pops up again, look into it. Okay, saved reports. Okay, I don't have any saved reports here, but again, I'm going to put them over here on the right-hand side because I, I delete them after I fix the problem. Freeze frame data. This is uh, just... You can uh, store data when uh, something's going wrong, and you can put that data or save it over in this part of the app and you know when you're talking about talking with someone about a fix they can look through that data and see whether you're on the right check smog check now let's go ahead and do a scan on scan on this <clears throat> of course this is uh i just got done repairing everything on my truck so everything's okay and uh spark engine monitors I'm not sure why some of these don't uh, come up as check but we don't we don't see any errors anyway so it looks like it would 
most likely pass a smog test. So now let's go over here to mode 6. Now what mode 6 does when it scans all the system modules it puts up each uh, process information diagnostic sensor up in the thing and it actually gives you the voltage and uh, tells you whether it's it's working correctly and if you're looking through all these there's a lot of stuff in here and it will even go into mis misfire reports it will tell you which cylinder actually uh, misfired and it will purge flow meters the oxygen sensors and here's a misfire cylinder two cylinder three four five six seven gives you all that information which is very interesting so you can really get down to some pretty granular detail with this application that you couldn't with just a standard OBD2 tool now what uh, mill status is is a malfunction indicator light it get, tells you when it when it was set off and all that other kind of stuff this is interesting because what it does is it takes your uh, Oh, your VIN number and it basically decodes your VIN number and it tells you like you might need to know the transmission ID or something like that for to do to get something on but uh, maintenance schedule it uh, this is all by just simply putting it in the uh, putting it in uh, plugging in the uh, the, the device into your car and it basically tells us okay over here we got some saved scans and I'm kind of thumbing through those I don't see anything over there but uh, deleting them to delete them you just slide them to the side and then hit the delete button now here we have a engine control module a random cylinder misfire tells you the seven possible causes and then it top rated fixes and uh, I replaced the spark plugs that fixed it over there on the other side it we're going through uh, recall information and service bulletins on airbags so and it tells you exactly what the service bulletins are and it's I don't I don't know of any other a diagnostic tool that does a deep dive like this and does such a absolutely outstanding job of it it is well worth the hundred dollars that you might spend to uh, get this or if you have a friend you don't use it every day if you have a friend just pick up his and uh, borrow it but make sure you get it back to him engine service bulletins and this is information that you can go through. Of course, mine's a uh, 2009, so they have quite a few of those. And uh, just it's just one right after another. Now here over in the saved reports, as I said, we're sliding them to the side, and then it exposes the delete button, and you can delete them. And here's a that was a report that I'd. Uh, done on a friend's truck so and over on the other side it has the settings where you can turn it into uh, Imperial and then you can up, you can actually update your blue driver module but all in all this is a fantastic tool and I am just pleased with the purchase and hopefully you'll find this uh, video informative and help you make that decision on whether you actually want to get one. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.